After working for 10 years in multiple companies, I found out that not knowing how to analyze data is a severe disadvantage. All my peers, whether in engineering or sales or HR, could analyze data and create insights. The sales needs to know things like which products sell better or what was the growth trend of your business. The marketing needs to know which channels provide maximum business leads or what is the ROI for your ad spend and so on. Even as a student, you lose the race if you don't know how to play with data since people around you have learned all the skills of a data analyst. And in your personal life, your motivation and success are closely linked to your ability to understand data. Think of investing your own money or managing your personal finance. You need to know where is the money coming from and where is it going at a daily, weekly, monthly or annual basis. And this is just finance. Imagine tracking your health using a fitness device or keeping track of your daily learning goals. As you can see, unless you have the basics of data analytics clear, you are bound to face problems. Unfortunately, the issue is that we don't know where to begin. Hi everyone, I am Anshul, an IIT IIM graduate with 10 years of experience and whether a person of experience or a fresher, this video is applicable to everyone. So I would highly recommend that you spare 8 minutes and watch till the very end. Today I am going to talk about what is data analysis and who is a data analyst, why you must learn data analytics especially in 2025, what jobs you can get and how much they pay you, what is the roadmap to learn this skill. But before we begin, do consider subscribing to my channel for useful tips and insights if you haven't already. Let's do this. There are two ways to look at data analytics. First, that it is a must-have skill for your life. The second is to think of it as a job role in a company. Imagine when we are planning a road trip with friends. We first wish to decide which is the best route, how much will be my fuel cost, which stops we will make and how much time we will take to reach our destination. In order to do all this, we check Google Maps, see our previous travel plans or ask others who have been on a similar trip. What we are doing here is analyzing data to come to an understanding. If you see, there is collection of data, organizing data, finding patterns and optimizing our results. This is precisely data analysis. A data analyst is anyone who gathers raw data like numbers, trends or feedback, processes it and finds meaningful patterns to make informed decisions. Just like in our lives. In a job setup, a data analyst is practically performing same tasks only for the company. Now many people confuse a data analyst with a data scientist. However, these two roles are very different. For starters, data scientists work on creating models and automating workflows using advanced programming tools like R, TensorFlow, Python and advanced level statistics. In case you wish to explore this as a field, I will create a separate video explaining it. Until then, you can learn the fastest ways to learn programming or coding from my other videos that can guide you to the first steps towards becoming a data scientist. Now that we know what data analyst entails, why should we learn it in 2025? As I told you earlier in the start of the video, learning data analysis empowers you both personally and professionally. It's more of a life skill than a hard skill. However, many of us are looking to join companies as data analysts. If so, then you are in luck. Because data analysts receive handsome packages and have a solid career trajectory. In India, while an entry-level analyst can earn 4 to 6 lakhs, in places like the US, the salaries are as high as $83,000, that is 60 lakhs per annum. And with seniority, the money grows exponentially. Not just that, the demand for data analysts is growing faster than the growth of any job role, both in India and abroad. While this may be the case, you may be wondering how AI may be replacing data analysts. While there is some truth to it, the reality is far from it. See, with any evolving technology, the skills need to evolve. I have covered it in more detail in another video, but just to reiterate, it is not really about AI replacing jobs, but how AI can assist you as an agent. I personally know several of my friends who are working as data analysts and use AI tools such as DeepSeek, ChatGPT and others to make their work faster and improve accuracy. At the end of the day, the decision making lies with the data analysts no matter the tool. Now let's understand how one can learn the basics of data analysis and become a data analyst in a company. Before I share the sources, let's address the elephant in the room. That is, do you need coding to become a data analyst? The answer is no. Let me explain. When we think of coding, we imagine extensive lines of complicated syntax that look gibberish to anyone who doesn't know coding. However, as we will see, there are some operations that require the use of very simplistic and basic languages such as SQL to perform them. So in order to learn data analysis, we must adopt a two-pronged approach. That is, learning the concepts and learning the tools. When it comes to concepts, we mean the fundamental or basic methods that make you decide what operations to perform on any data. On the other hand, the tools enable the how part, that is where to upload your data, transform it and create those results. Let's dive into the first part, the concepts or the foundation of data analysis. 
Before diving into tools and software, it's critical to build a solid foundation in data analysis concepts. I will break it down into two broad areas. The first one, statistics. Start with basics like mean, median, and mode, which help summarize data and standard deviation and variance, which measure how the data points deviate from the average. Then follows probability and hypothesis testing, which are equally important. These are used in decision making to determine whether trends in data are real or they are just random noise. Howard's data science probability and statistics on EDX is an excellent introduction to statistics. This is a 16 week course which covers the material in depth. However, I would recommend not covering this course beyond 5 chapters simply because they are not that relevant for performing data analytics operations. Also, you can start off with the free version of this course. And number 2 Relational Database Management Systems or RDBMS. Since most business data is stored in databases, knowing when, how, and why to retrieve, filter, and aggregate data becomes critical. While you can understand these concepts using an Excel, it will be better to use any simple RDBMS language such as an SQL to better visualize table operations. Concepts like joins, indexing, and query optimization help analysts work efficiently with large datasets. Beyond this, business intelligence concepts are vital for understanding how companies use data to drive strategy, optimize operations, and enhance customer experience. To get started, online platforms like Coursera, Udemy, and EDX offer structured beginners courses. Additionally, Udemy's SQL Course 2024, SQL for Data Analysis and Data Science course, is perfect for learning how to work with databases. This is a very popular course with very high rating by lakhs of students. This course is quite structured and offers tests on the go to reinforce learning. I would recommend to cover all concepts just before the advanced sections. While this course may not be for free, it only costs about Rs 500 or $6 for the entire course. Congratulations, you are halfway there in your journey to become a data analyst. Let's move to the second and the final part, the tools or your data arsenal. Once you grasp the core concepts, you need the right tools to work efficiently with data. A data analyst's workflow can be broken down into two major parts, the backend and the frontend. Let's begin with the first, the backend. This is where raw data gets collected, cleaned, and prepared before any meaningful analysis happens. When you are working with any organization's data, like the sales data, you find that dates are missing, product names are inconsistent, and there are duplicate entries. This is also called garbage data. A data analyst spends a good chunk of time to clean the data and structure this data properly. At the most basic level, Excel is a great tool for cleaning data using Power Query, text functions, and pivot tables. But when dealing with large data sets from multiple sources, Tools like Alteryx come in handy. Alteryx is an advanced tool for ETL, extract, transform, load operations that allows analysts to automate complex data preparation tasks without writing code. For even more robust data handling, analysts use SQL, structured query language, to pull, filter, and join multiple tables from relational databases before even touching Excel or visualization tools. Additionally, Google BigQuery and Snowflake are widely used cloud-based tools that help analysts process huge amounts of data efficiently. If a company has real-time data streams, they might also use Apache Kafka or Google Cloud Dataflow to manage continuous data processing. Think of this step as setting up your kitchen before cooking. You need clean ingredients before making a great dish. Once the ingredients are ready, next step is to make the dish. Step 2 is front-end, turning data into insights. Now once the data is structured and cleaned, the next step is to visualize and present it in an insightful way. This is where BI tools or business intelligence tools shine. Microsoft's Power BI or Tableau are two of the most popular and powerful tools for creating interactive dashboards and reports. They allow users to drag and drop elements, apply filters, and create visually appealing bar charts, line graphs, and heat maps that provide business insights. Google Looker Studio is a free cloud-based tool that integrates seamlessly with Google Analytics, Google Ads, and BigQuery. It is considered to be a great tool for marketing and web analytics in companies today. And Excel pivot tables and charts are widely used, but tools like Power BI and Tableau take visualization to the next level with real-time updates, cloud integration, and automation. For those with coding skills, Python and R can be used alongside these tools for advanced analysis. Python's Pandas and Matplotlib libraries help with data manipulation and visualization, while Seaborn and Plotly create professional quality interactive charts. So there you have it, data analysis isn't just for analysts, it's for everyone. Whether you are a student, a professional, or just managing your own finances, understanding data gives you a huge advantage in making better decisions. As I shared, data analyst is a starting point for your professional journey. But if you actually want to level up and advance your career, I would recommend that you start making your hands dirty with actual coding. Sooner than later, you will find that understanding coding and AI are mandatory for leveling up. For that, do check out my videos on the fastest way to learn programming and top 10 AI tools to learn. Pick the one that fits your journey best and I'll see you there.